Hi everybody, this is your math teacher. Today I am going to solve each question of quiz 1. That is chapter 1 review of the third grade. So let's look at the first question. Your first question about multiplication table. Okay, let's solve each question of first question. 6 times 9, 54. Easy questions, right? 54. So 8 times 3, 24. 6 times 5, 30. 7 times 8, 56. 4 times 7, 28. 4 times 9, 36. 6 times 7, 42. 8 times 6, 48. 8 times 0, 0. 9 times 9, 81. That's easy, right? If you do this question, so you get 5 points. Let's look at the second question, do the additions. So it's about three points. The first question, so I add the one digit, three plus six is equal to nine, two plus five is equal to seven, four plus one is equal to five. Your answer is 579. Second one, seven plus five is equal to 12. I am writing right side of the question. Then I will bring two down, so I send one to the next digit, something like that. Then I will continue to add one plus four, five, five plus two, seven. Let's continue to add numbers from the ten hundredth digit. Three plus five is equal to eight. Your answer, 772. Let's look at the next question of addition. Nine plus six is equal to 15. I am writing right side of the question, then I will bring five down. So, I will send one to the next digit, something like that. Then, I am in the tenth digit now, let's add them. 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Then, 1, I am in the hundredth digit, 1 plus, sorry, 5, 7, 8, and 1 bring them, so your answer is 181. Is right, now let's look at the, another page, so question 3. Do the subtraction. First, I will subtract the numbers from the ones digit. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. Then 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. Your, hand, your answer is 252. The second question of third one. 3 minus 5, we cannot subtract. We will go to the next digit. We will go to the neighbor to get one number. So if I get one number, from 6, 6 will be 5, then 3 will be 13. Now we can subtract them because 13 is bigger than 13 is bigger than 5. 13 minus 5 is equal to 8. I am writing 8 in the 1's digit place. Now I am in the 10's digit. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3, then 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Let's look at another question of subtraction. 1 minus 4, we cannot subtract. We will go to the next digit to get 1. Uh, okay, so 6 will be 5. Then 1 will be 11. So now we can subtract them because 11 is bigger than 4. So 11 minus 4 is equal to 7. Then I will subtract 5 minus 7. So I will subtract 7 then 5. So we cannot subtract them because 5 is smaller than 7. What should we do? First, we will go to the neighbor and we will take one number 4 will be 3 then 5 will be 15 now we can subtract them because 15 is bigger than 7 okay let's subtract them 15 minus 7 is equal to 8 then i am in the hundreds digit 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 your answer is 287 so your next question is about multiplication we have easy easiest question for the first so first you multiply your number by ones then you multiply your number by tens okay let's multiply two times three is equal to six two times four is equal to eight is right 86 now let's multiply five times four twenty i am writing right side of the question then i will bring zero down so two i make a circle for the two then let's continue to multiply number by tens digit 5 times 2 10 and i add the circled number 12 and i am writing here 12 to bring them so i make a circle for the one now 
So 5 times 3 is equal to 15 plus 1, 16. 1, 2, 3. After 3 digits, I put comma to read the number easily. Your answer 1620. So next question. 8 times 5 is equal to 40. 0 comes down. So 0 comes down. So 4. I make a circle. 8 times 3, 24. Then 4 is equal to 28. So 8 bring down. But I make a circle for the 2. 8 times 4 is equal to 32 plus 2, 34, 1, 2, 3, comma. Your answer is 3480. So let's continue to solve the question from the question 5. Okay, let's look at the question 5. These are the division operations. Let's uh, start from the easiest one. How many twos? I will start from the outside to ask inside the number that first digit how many twos we have in four two because two times two is equal to four i am writing here two and multiply two times two is equal to four then let's subtract four minus four zero then we haven't finished yet so because we have a number in dividend i will bring it down so i continue how many twos we have in eight how many twos so if you use the multiplication table you get four 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Then let's subtract them. 8 minus 8, 0. Now let's look at another question. This is a little bit hard for you, maybe. First, I will ask the uh, question inside the, uh, inside the first digit number. So how many 6s we have in 1? If there is no or if you say 0, you can ask first two digit numbers. How many 6s we have in 1? There is no. Okay, let's ask how many 6s we have in 18? 3 because 3 times 6 is equal to 18 right you know multiplication table 3 times 6 is equal to 18 then let's subtract them 8 8 minus 8 is equal to 0 1 minus 1 0 we haven't finished it because we have a number 6 in dividend i will bring 6 down so now let's continue to ask the question how many 6s we have in 6 1 because 1 times 6 6 then let's continue 1 times 6 6 then subtract 6 minus 6 0 okay so uh, the next one is the heart, really heart. So also it was in on your book. I get it from there. How many sevens we have in two? There is no because two is smaller than seven. Let's continue to ask first two digit number. First two digit number. How many sevens we have in twenty one? Three. Three times seven is equal to twenty one. Then let's subtract them one minus one zero, two minus two zero. So we haven't finished it because we have a number, right? We have a number. So what I do? I will bring it down. So have you finished? No, because we didn't ask the divisor. When you bring it your number, you have to ask. Don't forget how many sevens we have in one. How many sevens we have in one? There is no. Because of it, I write here zero. Zero times seven is equal to zero. Then let's subtract one minus zero is equal to one. That's it. Now let's look at the question six. Write the number 700 plus 60 plus 8 in standard form. What standard form? Standard form means you write your number by the digits. Just digit by digit. First of all, there is addition. What I do? What should I do? First, let's add the number 700 plus 60 plus 8. Then I add them. 0 plus 0 plus 8 is equal to 8. 0 plus 6 is equal to 6. So 7, I will bring it down. Your answer will be, your answer will be 768. Now let's continue to solve another question. Question 7. Write the number 653 in word form. Word form means you write your number by letters. So you write your number letter by letter. It means how to read your number. 600, 653. Okay, that's it. Easy question, right? So it uh, gives you one point. One point is your own pocket. Now let's continue. Question eight. Write the number eight hundred and seventy-four in expanded form. Expanded form. You write your number part by part. For example, if your number uh, is three digit, you write your number three parts. If your number is two digit number, you write your number in two parts. First of all, let's look at here. So 4. 4 is in which digit? 4, 
is in the ones digit, right? I multiply by one. First, let's get the place value. I multiply by one. Four times one is equal to four. Then let's look at seven. Seven is in the which digit? Seven is in the tens digit. I multiply seven by value of the tens digit. Value of the tens digit shows you ten. Seven times ten. 70 then let's continue to solve the question 8 is in the hundreds digit 8 so I multiply 8 by 100 because value of the hundreds is equal to 100 8 times 100 is equal to 800 now I so I got it three parts now when I add them I get expanded for something like that 874 is equal to 800 plus 70 plus 4 this is your expanded form okay so that's enough see you next answer key of the quiz too